bounty points will win uh, a hoodie, a 312 hoodie of their choice, which will be cool. Uh, and you and I, both our teams, didn't do super well the first week. We both lost our first week. How do you feel going into this week with your team? Did you guys regroup? What's the plan uh, without ex yeah, tipping your hand so, too much? I mean, of course, we ended up getting paired into... Your friends? <laughs> <laughs> our, our friends from our local store so uh we know that was random well. dude that was purely randomized we will we will uh, we'll put them in the ground that's not an issue <laughs> oh yeah yeah slice and dice also lost their first week so they got a you know they got the costellos they got levi uh night wings on that team as well so i yeah i'm i'm excited for for you guys to play each other i think that's kind of fun and you know, obviously, you'd rather play people you don't always play against, but I think in this setting, it's actually kind of kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah good luck. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, so super random. Matt. Do you feel like Andre is one of the guys that just kind of gets you? You know how we always like. I, feel I like think he's one of, So there are there are two people <laughs> in my mind that I don't think I've ever beaten, or like I'm like a sub like twenty five percent. Andre is one of the two. It's like, yeah, it's I, no I, matter. It's no matter what. It's a bad matchup. Some, like something ugh. bad will happen. Yeah. The other one, the other one is Chris Black. Okay. Chris Not Black. Familiar. Uh, he's he's in NCX. Okay. Is, I mean, there's what like a um, hundred something people in NCX yeah. draft league now. Yeah. No, but like between <laughs> between Chris Black and Andre, I don't think I have like t even like a twenty five percent win rate on him. Ugh. Yeah. And it's just like something wacky happens or I don't know. Like it's a it's a weird thing. Yeah, I call I jokingly called uh Andre Crispy's Bane the, the, the other day just because it was just like I mean I, I mean that's a pretty I, that's a pretty apt description. It's just I yeah, I feel like um obviously, you know, you have you've had your fair share, to say the least, of, of winning. And I, I as as someone who's competitive and who I, you know, I try to win as many games. I feel like I win most of the games of X-Wing that I play. Uh, maybe not as much on TTS these days, but in general, I expect to win as much as, you know, I play. Um, there's always that one person that just kind of gives you a hard time or you just like dice variants will never allow you to beat them. And like, I just mm -hmm. thought it was, I was thinking about you and Andre and it's like definitely, definitely seems like that kind of matchup. Um, I don't think I've ever beaten him on stream. I think I've lost like three or four times. Yeah, on I, stream I'm sure though. you've beaten him before, though. Yeah, uh, Epionic just. I've beaten him before. I don't think I've ever beaten him on stream. Yeah. There's no, there's no proof to it. Yeah, I felt like um, by the end of the draft league, uh, the last season that I was in, I felt like really uncomfortable playing on stream because I always had something <laughs> horribly go horribly wrong for me <laughs> every game and I was like I like I don't want everybody to see me having this kind of luck like five weeks in a row like that's that's not great but uh see for me it, it kind of, like see for me it like it vindicates all the feelings that I have like I am trying to like be better about dice but like when like people can witness in real time like Oh yeah, like that ship just blanked out three straight times and is dead. Yeah. It shouldn't have taken any damage this round. Right, you have a little bit more wiggle room to actually, you know, complain and you know be be a warranted complaint. Yeah, yeah. Rather than it's up, oh, he's he's complaining again. I guess every every time he loses, he complains, and then you look at on stream and it's like, well, okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Well, speaking so as our players are getting set getting set up here. We have, that is not the uh, matchup that I thought I had. Hold on. Let me replace the game two matchup animation with the game one matchup animation. Let's try this one more time. There we go. It's the range three obstructed versus seven suns. Both teams won their first week. This is a captain versus captain matchup as well. Michael playing rebels versus Joel slash Snaggletooth playing, uh, he's playing resistance. Uh, this is a great matchup. Both these players obviously have a lot of success playing online in person. I know Michael almost looks pretty much exclusively through uh, online play. Um, he's always been a tough matchup, but this is going to be fun. I always appreciate the captain versus captain matchups. It means there's less cowardice. They're willing to pair into each other, which is which is always nice. Um, which list do you want to when you do you want to break down and I'll just do the other one. Uh, I'll break down. Uh, I'll break down Michael's. Go for it. Yeah. So over there on the left, we have Michael's list with Hera, 
in the A-Wing with Marksmanship and Magpulse Warheads. Uh, great, great I-6 piece. Then you have Fen Rao uh, in the Fang with Crack Shot Predator and Beskar Reinforced Plating. Uh, that's pretty standard build that we see out of Fen Rao. Uh, then we have Boy Luke, the classic Boy Luke meta staple. Uh, then... In the Feng again, we have Bodica Venge with Predator, Beskar, Mando Optics. Bodica is uh, one of the most very... fun pieces, meta viable pieces in Rebels, because I find their list building with so, them to be super boring right now. But... So she is fun. My my meta take is that she's overrated. I, I think that's fair. I, I don't know if I, I can disagree with I that. I think that a lot of times, and to round out the list before I get yeah, into my analysis, uh, you have Sabine with Beskar Reinforced Plating in the TIE Fighter. And, oh, yeah, let me show Sabine. Boom, there's Sabine. You got the best scar. You got, you got all that Boom. good stuff. Uh, before, yeah, I'll, I'll do the other list, and then we can jump into time at Bodica. Uh, so, Joel, for the Captain of the Seven Sons, leading off the top of the order here, we got Elo Asti, of course, the I-5 4-point T-70 with Predator, Crackshot, and the greatest upgrade in the game, Jamming Beam. We got Cy Thernali or Thernelli. I don't know how you all like to pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. But Predator, BB, Astromech, interesting on a Y-Wing. Uh, or sorry, an X. this is the X-Wing version, so that makes more sense. Uh, and, of course, the foils on those X-Wings. And then one more T-70 here of the full 5 T-70 list. Just a few more to go. Crackshot uh, here with Tem and Wexley. Uh, we've also got the Super, is that Super Predator Droid R-68. And Jamming Beam, another four points there. Benisa Doza, one of the one of the newer pilots that we've seen, uh, a little bit of play gets to fire the barrage rockets out the back marksmanship, but there is no heroic uh, on the. Interestingly, I don't see heroic on any of these, which is a little different. And you know, people rely on heroic heavily when they play resistance, but she of course can fire barrage rockets range uh, one to two out the back and not do it at range three when she's shooting it behind herself. And lastly, at the bottom of the order here, we've got Carcoon with Predator and BB-8. So, I love there's there's the, the Snaggletooth set up there, all the angles for Joel. Lots of beef in this list. Obviously, you can't argue with, what is this, uh, 4, 7 times 5, 35 hit points. You got a ton of attack dice. You got 15 red dice there. Good agility to back it up. And we're playing Chance Engagement here. All right, let's talk about Bodica. So, a lot of the times that I've played against Bodica, she either has to be tethered to a support piece that essentially feeds her tokens, or she'll just blow up because she's I-4, and we're living in a very high orange meta. Um... And she'll get, like, one or two good shots, and then she'll just vanish. And that's for four points. I'm not sure whether that's entirely worth it. What, I, what I've what i been looking at and what I've seen people do that scares me a bit more is that they combine Bodica and Sabine into two threes, and they take Keo, and generally it's Hull. And now you have two ships that can both survive several hits at a time. Um, Hall's just got 8 health, keo has got force, and generally has, uh, tokens and maybe a defensive reroll in there as well. I see a lot of elusive on there. Um, now you have two ships that can survive for long periods of time, and also throw out three die shots throughout the game. Um, and both of them are independent pieces, you don't need to have any, uh, anyone sort of tag along with them to keep them safe. So that can open up like Hera to be more focused to protect Fen Rao, and Fen Rao can make more risky plays. Mm -hmm. um, but Bodica is just still a pretty solid ship, and Sabine, I mean, for two points is pretty... Yeah, bonus attacking, uh, pretty, obviously. Pretty easy to slap in there. 
both attacking as as people know with han is just the 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 ceiling can be very very high obviously you know the order matters in terms of when bodica ideally bodica uh, is able to shoot and then acquire that strain or not strain the deplete for the bonus attack after the initial shot um but still you're still rolling extra dice um four points like you said like you don't feel you don't feel horrible when you lose bodica but four points is still you know what 20 percent of the game right there so I, I don't like it when people act like, oh, my four or five point ship, it's cheap. Who cares if I lose it? It's like, it really, really don't want to lose it until like maybe halfway through the game when it when it makes sense to trade or you can afford to do so. So, no, I don't need to tell you. I'm preaching to the choir. I did want to shout out Ladrian and John Copper Blue. Thank you both for resubscribing. I think we got 33 months for Ladrian. That's a long time. We're approaching three years there, dude. That's my, that's my left slash right fielder. And then we've got John at 16 months. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. John, of course, also a Capone patron, top patron of our new Patreon, which has gone, gone, gone off with a bang so far. It's allowed me to already create, reach out to vendors and make some amazing swag, new stickers, cards, everything. It really helps get to put everything back into the stream. And, it, and Amazon doesn't get to run away with all of it like they usually do. However, with that said, we do still, we're still going to keep doing sub goals. Subscri subscriptions still really help us. We certainly don't want to throw that away, but it helps. The Patreon is definitely a much needed um, boost for the stream. Uh, let's take a look really quickly here while they're uh, checking their dials here. We're just going over to our division standings is currently early on range three obstructed does hold the top spot for their chicago dog division we did deliver the 312 crew did deliver their the first loss the course rough and irritating we did sweep you guys last week some crazy games and bad luck all of those things but we were able to take it back to them so they're one and one now we're one and one and the dumpster donuts dumpster diving at the bottom of their division lots of games yet to be played as you guys can see those mission points are pretty low because a lot of games are still yet to happen this week. We'll, we'll talk more about the divisions and the way they shake out in a bit and maybe even talk predictions. But it looks like we're ready to rock and roll here. So we'll start our time. Who do you like in this matchup? Like you had to, you're a betting man. What are, oh, what are you thinking? Oh man. So looking at this setup, we've got the fangs down on the bottom of the board and we have Hera and luke up top i'm assuming that we're going to see a fast luke and hera probably a fast luke of four straight attack speed see if you can get a torp off with a hera token passed up for defense ah uh, i i'd like to see a more of a together approach because i i feel like if joel just turns everything down on the bottom side of the board uh i don't think the Luke and Hera are going to get in there fast enough to do meaningful damage. Hera does have the Magpuls, which is very important, mm -hmm. uh, being at I-6, uh, essentially neutering an entire attack coming in. Yeah. I I played uh, Hera I'm for a bit. A it's tough, fan single of modded. If you didn't know. I know you are. I know you are. I know you're a big fan. of the, Literally have the jam icon as your, your, your profile right. picture on Discord. I mean... I I was playing I was playing like it wasn't good so I'm not saying that this is good but I tried it for a while I tried Wedge Luke Hera Bodica it like Sabine it was just like a salad list like, again I was trying to play something that not everybody was playing and Hera Hera half the time wasn't attacking and when she was it was single modded mag pulses and I, I would want to keep the lock for somebody else but couldn't because I need to spend it on the mag pulse and then I get like maybe one or two hits and it yeah. just it's single modded mag pulses um even though yes at i6 certainly the strongest potential uh just kind of drove me crazy it was like and she was kind of there to help wedge and because of that she wasn't participating as much as she should have been it's just yeah i mean it's 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 super good when you're going up against like a falcon or a decimator oh, right where absolutely it's like you don't need where it's just like all right i can probably roll this and hit this naturally and i can save the lock for someone else yeah uh, and yeah, like if it's not double modded, it's shooting into two dice, uh, two, two greens with dice, a focus. Yeah. Not great. Um, which is why foe does it better because literally everyone can self-contain double, double yep. modded at any, at any given time. That's true. Um, 
Do you have it on hollow but, though? I can't remember. Did you put I it on do hollow? I have it on hollow. Okay. How is hollow getting the double mods? Uh, strain lock focus. Oh, the BA ability. Yeah. yeah, yeah. BA. BA, BA, BA. Uh, and then you just throw that strain over to Mal or someone that is not getting shot at. Yeah. That's <laughs> and pretty, uh, pretty it's good. consequence free. See, I, yep, I like this a lot from Joel. Um, just turning everyone away from Luke and Hera. Just don't deal with them. Turn everyone in on the fangs. Yeah. There's a lot of urgency um, for a four straight boost, three hard next turn from Luke. Because he, I mean, he is run. He needs to get in yeah. there and get in that fight. Not afforded much time to not do so. This weekend, it takes place X-Wing World Open Qualifier. Oh, in Chile? That's great. We have we have fans from all across the globe. Oh, it's, Yay. that's that's how that works. It's awesome that you mm -hmm. joined us, though. Appreciate it. Really cool to see folks from Chile. We have the we have the Euro Trash team, bunch of degenerate wankas, as they say over there. Mm -hmm. They're doing pretty well. That's a good team as well, man. Yeah, for real. There's uh there's some there's some tough competition out here. It's, uh... There is, yeah. Yes, it's oh, a man. great little in-between phase before the next draft league, which I'll be playing in again. And then we'll probably do the next season once the draft league season, like the playoffs start or like around that time so that it's ending so that we don't overlap much, if at all. Because I definitely respect, one, my time and Greg's time and trying to keep everyone, you know, not having to deal with playing multi. Because once you, yeah, playing one game a week online, easy enough to do. Once you overlap it and start doing multiple, I think that's a lot of pressure. Just people are busy. So. Mm -hmm. Nice, like, little different alt flavor of, of team-based X-Wing here. Yeah, I'm uh I, I am very thankful for the league because having I like I think the two faction thing is really, really cool. Um because it does sort of spice up what like it's not like all the list matchups are now instant where it's like I can just put you into your best faction to go against where, you know, like oh like I'm really good against uh like Republic, but I'm really bad against rebels, and then there's someone that's running like Republican <laughs> rebels. Yeah, yeah. So like, like last night, my game against <laughs> Noah, I built a list. I built Han. I built like Baze, Bistan, Han with Trick Shot, Ben Rao with the usual Keo Concussion Missile Lone Wolf, the build that you like the most, which I actually love that build as well. In Boy Luke, oh, yeah. and I built that list thinking I playing Scramble, thinking I needed to. I was going to be playing against Noah's like quad sixes, the Imperial list that he played your your dad with on our stream. He brought uh, Boba, Fen, Tarok. And I was like, OK. And I just like love that. I was like, I thought I knew I, I took a gamble. It wasn't a bad. I ended up being able to pull it out. But it was just like just the fact that even though you have the power as the home captain to like make the pairings, it's nice to know that there's still some ambiguity that you don't have like uh, uh, you have an advantage, but you don't have one that people consider like, oh, crap, we're away. We're going to lose. Like, I just don't mm -hmm. think that that's possible when there's so much ambiguity between factions in the meta right now. Two factions per person. Yeah, I appreciate that. Honestly, that, <clears throat> that was one of the things that I kind of just threw caution to the wind. Is like, I'm just going to have people pick a couple factions each. And that seems to be one of the, 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 the talking points, the, the positive feedback so far, is that they like that that's one of the the aspects of this league that makes it kind of unique, I guess. That's good. That's We want things to be, you know, unique. It makes it more exciting. Indeed. Speaking of exciting, all the new Metal Vendor stuff coming up. Yes, right I, need to take, I need to take... Is it actually going to be, like, legal right before Worlds? Uh, they, they have announced that uh, that point, that there will be a points update when Battle of Endor drops and that it will be legal for Worlds. Oh, okay. Points update. We got to talk of nope, I mean, I think we point. Oh, it is it is it is not a points change. Nothing oh, in, in the game is changing. They're only adding Battle of Endor. Cool. 
that is that I, is what they've communicated yeah got it got it got it got it i appreciate you clarifying that because i think a lot of a couple of the locals here are speculating that there's going to be a points change alongside that product release i'm like they've never done that they there's no reason to believe that they will um yeah i mean a tie defender that rolls four dice by spending shields is is, is so, interesting yeah i mean like there's i i and there's a lot of health on those things so i gotta take a deeper look before i formulate like serious opinions but i mean yeah. like if if empire and rebels get buffed to that extreme before worlds i may have to just drop out a foe if i can't like if i can't compete to that power curve yeah. like it's i like it is quite worrisome i hope that they are costed cautiously oh, dude yeah before worlds um S minimum is probably if, seven if points that, that if colonel jendon if if that i6 defender comes in at seven or less i'm jumping to it it's it's not even close i i played a game where i was testing him at eight and he kicked ass at eight if he's seven which a lot of people think that he's gonna be at i yeah whew, there's like i can have that or i can have like like i can like have kylo you can put up good shots at i5 or i can put up an i6 tie defender that double mods every shot has passive offense in case i don't want to go fast has a proton cannon and then once the shields go down it has passive defense it's <sighs> trying not to think too much about it but it's certainly like yeah. there's a lot of implications <laughs> mm -hmm. lots of implications as we're about to get ready for round two here it's curious to see bangs how aggressive they are obviously five straight boosts are are possible but you can only get so close with how slow yeah. these x wings are going to go a lot going to be a lot of firing our coverage in the middle of the board i think the big question is how fast sabine goes does she go for a boost five straight barrel roll to go block or does she just hang back and try to do that next turn Ooh. i yeah i like the boost bank here into the five straight roll oh no never nope, mind nope, nope he doesn't like it yeah she probably would have you think because i'm like if you can block the t70s back there behind that rock yeah you may like like yeah sabine's probably gonna die but you yeah, can save a lot of firing arcs into bodica and Benrao. this is probably a little a little aggressive there temen um i think we can we might be able to see range one here at least you can see bodica get there i'm not so sure about that but you could get that bullseye here they come though look at that Now, this is a lot of predators in there. I think there's a crack shot. Good it's a heavyweight uh, fight with heavyweight scary. commentary, my guy. Absolutely. It'd be pretty, pretty scary. And here we go. Do I have them backwards? Is Fen yellow? Yeah, Fen is yellow. Sorry about the overlay issues, guys. They uh, auto-populate colors, and I thought the Rebel side was correct. Desi, shout out to Desi for correcting me on the multiple colors on the Resistance side, but let's get that done before we get it shooting. Overlays should all be updated and accurate right now. It, going That's that way is interesting. Close. I don't love that now you're still getting shot three times you're not scum you're not well this is bodica still i still really yeah, don't you like still that. you still have concordia uh i yeah. think you only have arc on kare which means that you're gonna probably force kare to shoot you you would have um, gotten out of size arc if you just boosted straight oh, been able luke's to... not even uh it's yeah i no i i'm not sure whether she would have the gotten, boost straight it's, yeah the boost straight it might have uh, but you would have given up a range two shot to Kare, which I don't think is what you want. Mm. Yeah, well, here comes the problem is the splitting fire here. It's, you know, Joel's yeah. not going to do that, but we're going to have Michael splitting fire. 
a lot of pressure being put on Michael right here with just the way Joel's the spread of firing arcs that you see from these T-70s. Meanwhile, Hera and Luke are anxiously trying to get into the fight, but they're not going to be able to get there in time, at least not this round. Luke didn't even have range for a target lock. Hera's just trying to get in there, do something. Yeah, an unthreatening two-die gun at range three. So here we go with Fen Rao starting us off here. You have Bullseye and you have three choices, but you take the obvious one at range one there. You have your Predator. You have, let's see, where is he? And crack shot here. Four dice. Hopefully he can keep his focus. He really wants to keep that focus. And well, <laughs> that's Whoa. three focuses. <laughs> oh God. Predator re -roll. I mean, Predator, you might as well. And you're gonna have to spend. Oh, you are in, you are in a lot of arcs, Fen. Yeah. You don't have Hera help. See, this is why I like Hera with Fen Rao. Yep. Because now when you have an extra focus token, you, you can afford to go out and do this. Joel's like, sure, I'll, is he going to spend? Well, he got, he got a token spend at range one. Yeah. Uh, plus a crack shot from Fen yep. while you got it. So that's shields down on Temin. No other shots going to be in the Temin? Uh, maybe, maybe Sabine has range to Temin. <laughs> Looks like it's possible. There we go. Hera taking a shot at Car here. Downtown unmodded for one. Should be able to shake this off. Uh, well... Oh. Get you just token. take the shield, though. I don't see why you wouldn't. I mean, there's the phrase, spend it while you got it. Absolutely. Yeah. You're already in an advantageous position, I would think, yep. just based on... I was told by TTS, I DC'd. I don't know. Thankfully, I don't think everyone else has. Let me double check that. Oh, we got we got multiple DCs. Okay. Pause the timer here, folks. It's all going down. It's all going down. I wonder if it's a maintenance thing, like it's a regional maintenance thing, or whatever that happens with Steam. I know Greg has to deal with that a lot. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not pleasant. Stand by here. I'll stop the timer, though. Okay, Joel is back from promotion. Boom. Go. A little bit of lag there, getting his promotion. This is not letting you rejoin. I'm um, trying to find the room. Hmm. Oh, one of those where the room disappears. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our first shot in a fen at range three here. This is Elo taking that shot, and there is a full string of three. Ben, hoping for some evades here. Natural evades would be nice, and he does get two. And he'll be taking a damage card, but not a bad roll to start. Three hole left on our five point friend. It's like there's three more shots going into Fen. It's rough. You're just really hoping for some blanks. All right, Bodica, bonus attack time. Here we go. As Predator. This is range three, obstructed into Elo. And Predator reroll here. Here you go, try to get three. 
You don't get three. Reroll into an eyeball. Hit crit. Not bad, though. And Ello rolls three of eights. Feeling a little AC today, aren't we, Ello? Now you get the deplete on Bodica. So now that next shot, not going to be as good. Here we go with a barrage rocket. So 3v3. Benisa Doza. Oh, hit crit. Fen likes to see the crit, right? It got Beskar that's, there. That's great. That's great for Fen. Fen is going to dodge it completely. Big, big, big dub there on that shot for Michael. And we're going to go range one now. This The token, the focus was spent here from Temin. Temin into Fen has no mods. Oh, Fen's going to get out there. Uh, and Concordia will guarantee it. Yep. Doesn't matter. Oh, this is not going the way that uh, Joel was hoping. That's not going the way you and I thought it would so far. Fed only taking one, getting shot at three times, and only taking one so far. See, I like the car race shot here in the Fenrir. I do too. I mean, that's, I think, if he was able to get, I liked Joel's odds of killing Fen if one more damage card was on him right now. I mean, let's see what, let's see what we get. happens right here. Let's see what we get. Lots of blanks. Ooh. Lots of blanks. That is, and Fen takes, takes it. Yeah, Fen takes one, but he is going to stick around. That is half points, which is big. Yes. I just realized that we are playing the one scenario that features half points. We go now. You got a shot here in Tabotica. Range yeah, one. I'd, I'd say take Bodica. See if you can knock the token off. Or just get lucky. Get four paints. <laughs> no. Bodica. Don't and think Bodica's Bodica going to have does... an opportunity to Beskar. Yeah. No. He's. Uh, Bodica does not have front arc on Kai. So can't Beskar. Well, but I mean, still a good roll. You have your focus. You can just spend. Ben I wonder focus. what we're contemplating here. Focus. I know. So you can cardio one. It's just a matter of taking hit or hit. Uh, sorry, it's a matter of taking hit, crit, just, or crit. Just a crit here. Let me know what that is, Chris, just because I don't have my camera able yep. to take a look at the crit right now. It is a fuel leak. Ooh. So one through on Bodica, a fuel leak. And now Bodica does get to shoot at the initiative for part of the engagement. You could take another shot at Elo. That didn't really work out. Range one option there on Carr, who did not spend her focus on offense. So yeah. range one it is. Naked dice, just throw the most you can. Yep, no way to mod these dice here. May the dice gods be in my favor, and boom, there it is. You get it. Three hits. And Natty evades. Yeah. And I'd say Kara deserves that only because that attack was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you do oh you do reach out there barely get temen maybe you can sneak another one through oh hey hit crit temen take crit here temen says yes i take like both hit under crit. the shields wow and that crit is wounded pilot <laughs> Half points on Temin versus so it's half points in Temin plus change on Kare versus half points on Fen with change on Bodica. It'll be three to three here, and you have Hera and Luke closing in. You could finish off. You could see maybe Temin go down. A proton torpedo looms, but uh, honestly, dude, I am surprised that engagement phase went as well for michael as it did not, yeah um that was very I mean, risky very risky i mean there were four 
three die shots and defend and coming out with only two that's that's pretty good and no like face up crits that you got to worry about ben's free to just like three straight and leave he did his job he'll come back later at the end of the game yeah yeah he, he did it he absolutely did his job he got that damn you you have put yourself in a position to take one of these five t70s off the board Didn't see anybody else take damage. I guess all the damage went into Tem in that round. Oh, except for that one on Kari. Uh, Kari took two. Oh, Kari took two. Kari's down two shields. What the first damage from Kari? I wonder what was that? Was that from Bodica? Uh, I think that's the Hera out. shot that flanked through. Oh, right. He opted to keep the focus. Yeah. Yep. And Kari went through that entire engagement without spending the focus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bend feels it bad. While you feels got bad. It. Yeah. Bend it while you got it. I always have this bad feeling, this like sinking feeling in my stomach when I opt to keep a focus for later for an attack or for another Ooh. shot, and then I yeah won't can't use it. I I feel that I like I'll only like keep it if I know like this is like the second mod that I'm getting to close out this ship where I can get a big kill here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you we don't absolutely really know can. that you're gonna. Out, and you can hope but like you're like the fourth ship in shooting in the round you yeah. you may not know whether you're gonna close out someone or not right bend it while you got it oh i never restarted their time let's see how much do they have left 51 okay boom there we go All right, so I think what, what what are the fangs doing? You said Fen's probably just disengaging. Um, what do you think Bodica is going to be up to here? Both of them are stressed right now. Uh, uh, Bodica is not stressed thanks to Fen's oh. ability. Oh yeah, let's let's read that again. It's got a little bit of a wordy one. All right. Before a friendly ship at range one to two engages, if there is an enemy ship in its front arc at range one, a friendly ship may remove one non-lock red token. Love it. Yep. Quite, uh, quite fun. So Bodica here can just... Um... Has an open dial. Yeah. Uh, although looking at that debris, not great options. I mean... You'd probably just hard turn to the center of the board, I guess. Yeah. Um, hope that you uh, bump into Karia and get a good angle looking at Elo if Elo tries to turn down into the jo board. Joel uh, with Elo, Joel might have to bank in with Elo because he, otherwise he risks leaving the center point, which you just can't afford to do. Uh, Today, I think like... so for the center point, I think Kare is going to roll to the uh, roll to its right. So board left and then two hard in. Yep. With BB-8. Yep. Um, they, they errated BB Astromech, right? Where you no longer it's no longer like uh, it's you know, no it... longer before you activate. It's, it's no longer before you reveal your dial. It is system phase. Got it. Now we'd see the system phase moves. Seven. Both of them roll, it appears. Oh, but Kari has BB-8. Mm-hmm. So you could do a hard turn boost here if you want. Did he spend the charge and not do the move? Oh, we're still doing system phase, it looks like. 
Oh, just doing just doing the proper order. Okay. We're doing the Mandalorian optic. We got Mandalorian optics from Bodica, who had decided to lock Vanessa. The Bodica probably one harding to the right then. Yeah, I think so. One hard to the right. Do you have room to like barrel roll at that point? I don't think so. Might. Taking a look at our cards here. Hmm. So, do you think that that the bonus attack from Bodica should that have gone into a car? Because decided to shoot at Elo range three, obstructed. Um. Well, here's the thing. If you if you try to save the bonus attack, Kari could just shoot Bodica instead. So it's more of a first opportunity sort of thing, or your mm -hmm. opponent's going to hold that opportunity from you. I see. And that's kind of what, like, Bodica is supposed to be, like, that. Oh, yeah, Bodica is a, a bonus attack against the, the uh, attacker, not not a, just a bonus attack. I get them confused. There's a few of those bonus attack pilot abilities where some of them are against, like, just perform a bonus attack, or some of them are against the, uh, the attacker. Bodica is against the attacker. <laughs> So couldn't have chosen. You just you choose based on what you can choose. Yeah. So here, here is that one hard to the bottom of the board here for Bodica. Gonna park there, huh? Just like it. We'll need to roll for a wounded pilot unless we're before doing anything else assuming that we are doing anything else oh Bodak has a fuel leak wounded was on wasn't somebody take a wounded on the left side or am I crazy I thought I hate you remember you saying wounded pilot for somebody oh uh, it's over here on, on Temen. Temen yeah, yeah. So Temen who about, is uh Expert level commentary here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hemin is going to give Sabine the business. And the Bodica is going to give Doza the business. Yeah, geez. Okay. All right, with Talon roll, all right. You, you think Luke, Luke's doing like a four straight like planned instinct or uh, attack speed boost or what do you think Luke might be doing here? I think Luke went with the three straight with the attack speed boost in mind. Um, because I think the four straight is too easily blocked. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that. Um, although we're splitting up fire here, which does benefit Michael. And that's going to block three. Really, really trusting in that block. Yeah. Do we see Link to focus here? Uh, probably not. You don't have anything to get out of there while you're stressed. Yeah, there it is. Nice Bonk. block there for Joel. Yep, blocking the three straight. So you could still see, you could still, I don't know, looks like you wouldn't have anybody to fire it at, though. No. The nice I thing about Hera with focus. Luke is the instinctive double modded pro torp opportunity still exists, but not here. Unless you think Ello's coming in, but is not. Yeah, sitting there with the focus, trying to lay a bit of a trap here. For Fen, but Fen would, should be able to get out of that pretty easily. But of course, Venisa does have that barrage rocket at the back. Well, Ooh, Fen, that is an interesting choice. That's not great. I yeah, because if you if you roll, if you roll to get out of Doza, you just take yourself out of range one of Lo. Yeah. But sitting there is gonna take two shots. Even if you boost, I don't think the boost gets out of both. No. 
Wow. That's range two each way. That is range two. That is range two of both. So I think you're now relying on Bodica to trade with Doza here. Like like Fenron's sacrificing, saying, hey, shoot me, shoot me. Meanwhile, Bodica is going to have a really good opportunity to double tap yep. here. And Bodica will be shooting that. before Doza. Maybe the mag pulse. You hope for the mag pulse to get LO to lose the focus. Is that what we're going to do uh, here? I, I like that. I like you got You got to hope. Rebellions are built on hope, Crispy. Oh, it's, a, uh, it's obstructed. All right. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, yeah, you need three hits now to like actually think you can Man. get the gem. Part of me, part of me would say focus boost. Because then you could give Boda an extra focus token for the double yeah. tap. Yeah, opting for the, uh, the offensive promise, potential promise of the mag pulse. Here, and we, here go. we go. Three on three here. Single modded with the love lock. I do love a good mag pulse. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh. not bad. That's pretty good. Reroll into only two. Need two blanks here. Nope. Oh. That is what, that's, yeah, that's going to happen. That's single modded mag pulse. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So now, yeah, Fen. Oh, I, not, I don't think he was thinking the way you're thinking about trading, Fen. I think he was hoping for that mag pulse to work out. The, that fact that it was obstructed also really stunk. Well, you need you need Fenrau to not die to Elo specifically. If Fenrau dies to Elo, then Doza just doesn't shoot, and Bodica yeah. only performs one attack. Yeah. But if Doza has to shoot the barrage rockets to kill Fenrau, yeah. Bodica then gets two double modded range one shots. That's true. And that is big. And it looks like we're going to have... Ring zero chip into Karai yeah. for another shield. Karai all of a sudden with shields down. And here we go. Range two and defend just out of range one there. Oh, Ooh. no. Hope for some oh. paint. You get some. You're taking another crit here. Direct crit. will finish it. It's a structural. Okay. Oh, that's. So, <laughs> but you're like, but Bodica has two range one double modded shots into Doza. Like, yeah. there's a world in which Bodica like does. Five Once Doza spends the focus, it's no shot at all, right? Obviously, because you can only do the barrage out the back. Correct. So yeah, the first the first shot into Doza. Uh, the the first Bodica shot into Doza. Doza has no defense. Oh, I. We lose you again. Did, did did you drop? It's hanging on you. It's hanging on my end. You dropped. Uh, I'm still like sticking around right now. I'm watching the game still. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, okay. My dice cam you're, you're, DC'd. You're, you're, yeah, you're through. Yeah. Hey guys, real quick, hold on. Yeah. Uh, pause your timer. We got it like a couple of DCs, including the dice cam. So I'm gonna save the game really quick and reload it. Oh, gotcha. Thanks for bearing yeah. with me. I disconnected too there for yeah. a moment. So one sec. I thought we'd miss triggers or something. Yeah, I was like, oh, I promise I'm not doing a bonus attack. I did try, but Joel stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> did I barrel Bye. twice for that block? No, no, that was a boost in a roll. I, what is it? Make sure one more time that I save this. Overwrite. Go. Gonna load it up. Yowza. Doza. Okay. It is up. Dice cam's back. Having some issues with steam tonight, it seems. Yep. It's a steamy night. Hey, there you <laughs> go. It's, uh, well, yeah, with these, with the shots that are fired right now, it seems like it. Oh, oh yes. Uh, 40 minutes. I gotta left say, we both timer. did. 
a good job of kind of trapping the other one here because I really don't like where Veniza is. <laughs> but I'm really happy with what I did to Luke. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a good block. So not, so not a night in Nick's bedroom. Oh, that's funny. Not Stevie, indeed. That's also banned. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I think you guys are. Are you guys both back in here? Yeah, okay, I'm good. Cool. Here. And you guys are yeah. good to keep going. Sorry about that. All righty. Yeah. All right. We are back. Some, uh, some. This is the most DCs I've had in a long time. Bodica, that's a good shot. Red. Focus. Oh, it's big. Got four. Oh, but two evades out of Doza. <laughs> These T70s, man. Turns out they're good. Here we go with that structural day. I mean, oh God, you're the only thing that's going to save Michael is some blanks. <laughs> he's, he's got too many dice. Yeah, too many right? dice. Oh, he's going to need natties on two dice. Oh, he's rolling too many. Uh, punished. Punished. No, oh, no. Now yeah, he's going to reroll. No, I've been double evades. Okay. <laughs> I I have rolled. So I. it feels really bad, really bad when you like roll like four dice on accident and then they're all blanks and then you like natty hit hit crit rolling it properly. It's just like, well, I know that was yeah. good. It's this just feels wrong. Uh, Predator here. This is uh, you got the best. I got the lock. Uh, sorry, the Mando optics. And then you don't have your focus anymore. So that's hit hit crit into yep. Vanessa, who still has the focus. Vanessa rolls. Oh my oh, gosh. This only takes two takes that three out of that. Yeah. So shields down. I mean, that's that's the tankiness and the offense that Joel that, was hoping for yeah. in the first round. And here we go with the shot, potential one shotter into Sabine. Sabine has a focus. Man, you got R68. Yep, re roll. Oh, into a blank. Only three. Sabine will live if you roll. She rolls a paint. She rolls some paint. Now, do you crack shot for one point? I mean, use it while you got it, right? No, we're not I, doing I, that. I mean, I was gonna I, like I was gonna say just range zero. It's into Luke. I know it's Sabine, but like you could just get a point right here, right now. Shoot Hera, chip away, because Hera can die. Luke can also oh, die. Oh yeah, but I do. Hera find doesn't that have Hera regen though. Hormonal. That is true. So hit crit here, Hera. Rolls a couple of aids, fine. A wing, still gonna A wing sometimes. And Fenrau removed. That's that's three more points for Joel. Is it six to three before we tally the center? It'll be seven four. In favor of the Seven Suns captain here. Sorry, one more shot. We can't forget about Sabine. How dare I? Into Temen, who's who? Who is it too? Oh, I hit crit. Come in. Takes a crit. He doesn't have Beskar. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I rode off Sabine and Sabine kills Devin. How dare I? Wow. Sabine. Two point ship. Oh be in the no. Game. That is. Oh my gosh. Oh, Murphy's Law, Sabine, man. Almost, almost worse than BB-8. So it is seven, six, seven for seven sun, six, because range six obstructed. Wow. Okay. Kill. Man. Oh Woo! man, that crack, crack shot. Sad. So yeah, you've got, you've been able to chip shields off of Vanessa and Carr. Car, uh, Venice's already, I think Venice's fired uh, just one, one barrage, so two barrage rockets so far. So still has a couple left. 
Uh, we've got Bodica two points at half at one away from half with that fuel leak, which is a thing that matters. But Bodica still has best car, so that might play a role. How is Sabine attacked with three dice? It was range one, so got the range bonus. Range one into Temin. Turn four coming our way here. So yeah, now it feels a little for Joel. I mean, Luke is tanky enough. He's with the regen. You, the only way you feel confident in getting those five points from him is if you gang up on him with a few shots. And he just has things kind of all which way right now. It's not going to happen this next round. So I like where Michael is at, to be honest. Um, Bodica can disengage and come back around. Although I know Elo does have that, that white talent role. So it's something to be mindful of if he decides to employ it. Mm -hmm. you lose Sabine who cares so a couple points like there's just a lot more to lose for Joel right now in all ways including the half points that are about to be scored with Vanessa and Carr two at half each one away from half for both of them more points to be gained in the next engagement for the range three obstructed captain than there are for Joel yeah um like I, I, it's like Joel's got more points right now, but like where where does Joel get points from here? Yes. Um <clears throat> like oh man. Well, Part of me probably... wants Doza to just like one straight and see if you can get another rocket into Bodica. Yeah. But one straight is a, a feeling... one bank. So bad. Sabine Sabine can do some tricky, tricky stuff here. Uh I think I like if I was Michael. I would try to have Sabine go block the Elo Talon. Like, like right next to Bodica. Just go block that Talon. Just run into Bodica. Uh, I wouldn't say run into Bodica. You could probably... Oh, just a two bank? I'd say roll two bank. Ooh, roll, roll two four. bank might give room for the Talon roll still. I think you need bank, to be. You think? <sighs> I think so. Yeah. I, I think I think roll two bank puts you right where you want to be. Okay. Uh, and you yeah, also block where... Doza. You also block Doza if Doza tries to two or three hard mm -hmm. towards the top of the board. I like the idea of Doza just one banking or one straighting here, keeping the back arc wide enough for the barrage rocket. Yep. Just just one, just one straight here. Uh, if you're trying to use that rocket, because the one bank I think puts you at a weird angle where Botica could just too hard and boost out. Though Kare, I'm interested to see Kare and Kai, whether they decide to go after Hera or try to put some damage into Luke while he's trailing behind her. We got half an hour left in the game, so there's plenty yeah, of time to go. Plenty of time. Get some shots. Get some shots in. And this isn't the only game. We got one more game right after this is Jammin' and Tanner, another captain versus captain matchup is the psychedelic peanut jams take on the rule of three in their, I think, series opener. They have not played a game yet. Be immediately following this one. There he is, MCX Jammin. If I saw just Jammin, like the Twitch username Jammin, I'd be like, it's fraud. Mm -hmm. Report for fraud fraudulent behavior. Joel recognizing the crack shot on Sabine. I sorry, if Joel loses by like that one health, getting that one point on Sabine, that'd be Oh, don't even say that. Be... Man. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Those are those are ways to lose games. Like just things just like that. You just oh you forgot a crack shot. That's a big thing. Maybe you know, did he forget or did he not think it was worth it? I, obviously again, I four lining up bullseye. 
with all of small bases and most of them higher initiative if not the same as yours i just i would use it for sure so I, yep. i'm sure he just forgot even if Mando it's on, optics, on like dozen. even if it's on sabine damage is damage yep. just do it points are points two points is still two point and then chance engagement man like once you get that four that that four or five point margin it's usually over like that is a lot of points to need to to close the gap with and sabine just saying you know what crispy and nick screw you i have my own plans going up to the top of the board by luke oh and michael's gone man I mean, like, I'm going to run a quick... My internet speeds seem fine on the Twitch side. Yeah, internet's fine. Nothing's crashing on my end. <laughs> Send well wishes to Crispy. That cough doesn't sound so good. What's your remedy? Like, what do you... Do you like to drink, like, tea or, like, like soup? Like, anything that makes you, like feel better when you're sick like do you have a go-to thing no not really I, I i think i think the phrase is it is what it is works pretty well yeah. um also also throw in a couple wee ball in there and that works uh generally yeah i um i'm on you know knock on wood but like my family gets sick quite often but i like rarely come down with anything I'm, I'm very lucky i don't i'm just a locker it's a good you know a decent immune system or whatever because mm -hmm. like i healthy, good healthy guy just a healthy guy over here ladies yeah that's me i'm get him i went to the immediate care earlier today though because i thought there was something wrong with me and then the nurse was like now nah, you're fine i'm like god damn it <laughs> like i don't want there to be anything wrong with me but it's like it's like <laughs> <laughs> just i got up extra early for this So Mike Chorney in the chat saying my Steam connection is down. So this is a Steam issue, not a local host issue. And Shively is still in Discord right now in, in with talking to Joel. Yeah. So one of those things. One of those nights. I'll take a moment to uh show you guys one more time. Eight away from the sub goal of the Crossroads Mark Moriarty card pack I have right here. Also got the Patreon stuff over there, but I forgot to turn that off. It's there for you to see if you want to see it. But there we go. A whole cart pack. We're at 62 right now. At a 70. We'll do this. And it says 80, but I'll give it away at 70. So ignore ignore the the the, the number down there. We'll do 70 instead of 80. We will be streaming on Sunday in person at a store champ. Hope y'all are able to swing by and say hello. We'll be doing sub goal giveaways for that as well, as we tend to do for in-person events. This is probably one of those cases where you can't find the room. Yeah. Just give it time. Patience. Patience. There <laughs> we go. Here we go. All right, we're moving. We're moving and we're grooving. Here we go there. I thought the town, we might see a town roll there from car and we see it. Mm. Hard turn. Like hard two. The fuel, the fuel leak. Oh gosh. Oh. Interesting. Uh oh, Bodica. So 
well. But okay, they're not going to get shot by Allo at least. But we didn't see the Talon roll. We just saw our hard turn. Luke blocked yet again. Dice cam disconnect. That's fine. I disconnected too. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh. Stay on target. Timer, popular players. So my sources say that there's a Steam issue going on tonight. So that's if you're wondering what, the, why this keeps happening, that's the reason. Excuses, excuses. Hey, I got no skin in the game here. <laughs> uh, I think the room that's... is down because I can't find it now. I. Yeah, I uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna I basically quit out of it and um, start it up again. I saved your guys' progress again, so just give me a right. moment. Thanks. Yeah. It's like the uh, 2012 Super Bowl where the lights went out at halftime and uh, <laughs> totally changed the momentum of the game. Yeah. We need a rain delay, just like the how the Cubs won their World Series. I don't think people say it's a rain delay. Yeah. <laughs> massive momentum though. I just, no, I no, know. definitely not. Matt McGowan currently has a room named 312 as well. Yeah, so I, I saw tried that. to join that a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I was like, I was like with the dice like... cam, I almost did that too. I was like, oh shit, that's not, yeah. that's not my room. It's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand by, everybody. Stand by. Nobody freak out here. Oh man, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Insert Kermit the Frog JPEG. Kermit the Frog. Here. Nice. <sighs> Loading in all the assets. Well, let's try this again. I am going to be, as soon as the dice cam loads in, I'm, I'm going to reload the room one more time. So don't do anything yet. Just, oh, so that, sorry. No, that's okay. I mean, you can join. It's just, you just will see me reload the room one more time. No matter what happens you're in your guys' game, the real winner is Steam. <laughs> yeah. Steam wants because no we're so it. addicted to it, we keep coming back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, you guys should be good to join and start moving stuff around. Luke had just hit. Oh, he's uh, not back in the room. Okay. All right, we'll see. Hopefully, this it doesn't happen again. But it seems to be in an, an, an intervals. They had somebody yeah. in the chat saying their Steam connection was not working at all. So, yeah. all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might join you guys again in a second. Hopefully not. Good luck. All right. I was I was telling the guys that you know no matter what happens, they think the real winner in this game is Steam. <laughs> Steam is the the real. The real making winner a, of this one. Making a fool of all of us. I know. Got nothing on us, Steam. Nice try. <laughs> Times three. It's Roche thinks stay on target. Yeah, stay on target. I have to do that a lot. 
it's a little annoying that like you have to like have to put dial in your maneuver again but obviously we all know michael's good for it but it's just like awkward to be like oh shit like because of things that i can't control i have to now like redial in my maneuver <laughs> nobody knew what it was but a bump there as Hera goes five straight hoping to get uh vanisa to spend that focus again there's that, that barrage rocket on bodica a little scary Here we go. We got marksmanship here. We got focus. Three dice here at range one. That dice cam back up. There you go. It's gonna be. I think you. I think you spend. Who else is shooting at you? Par with no mods. We spend hit hit crit after marksmanship. Time for some green dice to be rolled and hit crit into Doza. Not gonna die here on this shot at least. But that's half. It's Michael up with a one point advantage. What crit is that? That is a console fire. Ooh. All right, next shot. We're going into Luke here, range two. This is from Ello. Three on two. For two, Luke. Spend some force. Has the focus. Uh, you have focus. Spends the force. That's fair. You get shot again. You're just gonna get it back. Oh, but you can't instinctive then. Since you spend two force. Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like Luke taking a shield there wouldn't have been the end of the world for Michael. But... Yeah. All right. Luke now, range three into Vanessa trying to get that kill shot not gonna do it with mm. a roll like that that's pretty bad you really gonna spend your focus I mean if you get shot at you get that force back through the so. odds of you needing to force on your shot defenses but no not spending but... let's go range one into Sabine right yeah Sabine at two hole get four dice this is high shot, sigh, high, however you say it. Spend for three, focus. not bad, not bad. Sabine, oh, Sabine. Oh. Spends that focus. Full paint, you're safe, no damage. You have a bullseye in the Luke, so ugh, lots of splitting fire here. Oh, that's why the wings. He kept the wings closed on Kare. Uh, you have Predator? It's two. Yeah, you used it, and Luke rolls Natty evades. All right, Miss Predator there. But here we go. This is. He did, he did re roll a die. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, he it. did. Into two, yeah. Here we go. Barrage Rocket. Uh oh. Console and Fire? No damage. You can barely see it because he's using green die. Uh, you rolled a oh. oh. Oh, but Beskar here. Beskar is going to gonna protect the uh, fuel but leak. The, but the fuel leak will still go. Is that how Beskar works? You still take the... So you guys are still taking the card, right? And then you're discarding it, so you're still suffering the effect. Yes. Got it. So you would still take the extra damage off of fuel leak. So, so it's going to die. This is... No, uh, rolled one of eight, right? So it's hit, cancel the crit. But still suffer the fuel leak. Oh, yeah. Suffer so the fuel on, leak on takes one. one. Goes down to one, yeah. Got uh, it. But that half. is two points. Yep. That is Joel, two points. Up to nine. And let me resume their time on my end. Let's see how much time they have now. 21 minutes. Here we 
Here we go. Two dice into Doza. Could finish her off. And it will. Wow, back and forth, back and forth. Doza goes down. Mandalorian Optics playing, being helpful. It didn't have to spend a lock there, but still nice to have that mod as needed here for that shot. Didn't need it. Gets the two more points. Another T70 down, three remaining. Temen and Doza suffer similar fate. And I think we're back to dials. We are, it's 11 to 10. Range 3 obstructed, clinging to a one point lead here. Chance engagement, it's a seesaw battle. That's the way chance usually goes. What a slugfest, absolutely. Right hooks landing all over, yes. And yeah, I mean, Bodica is the only way, the only really affordable way to get some points here for Joel. It's only gonna be two more. Era hasn't taken any damage. Luke hasn't taken any, and he has R two D two still. I mean, so even if he does lose a couple shields, he might he just runs away and regens. Sabine one hole away from a point. If it comes down to it, you could do that. But it's a little awkward with where everybody is right now. Bodica just now. Two hards uh, towards Joel's side and just leaves, right? Like, there's just, you just let Luke pick up what half points he can and then just try to survive the T70s because you're also one away from getting half on Kare. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I would make it difficult for Joel to get to take Bodica down. Don't feed Bodica yeah. to him. That's the way that I feel like I have to keep that mindset all the time when I play a chance because you look at all your ships you're like oh my god that's that's two away from three points from my opponent here that's one away from two points from my opponent here you gotta mm -hmm. like okay so how do I what can I afford to be map. yeah what can I afford to be aggressive with and what do I need to be conservative with when I know I want to be aggressive also Very the nice. other thing is the center point thing right like the whole dilemma of disengaging and then getting punished for it sometimes that's happening that happens and two points is a lot of points to get in just scenario points. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I'm if I'm Joel, oh. I, th I think Kai, well, I think you got a three bank down towards the bottom. Like, if anything, you got to just put all your T-70s in that area. Just let Sabine go. She's probably just leaving. I'm not sure whether it's worth it to chase her down or just no. try to corral Hera and Bodica yeah. back in yeah. that corner. Yeah, Hera's a couple points that they're not the hardest thing to get half on. Just one, you know, decently not great roll and you get those half points. We'll see where both players decide to put their, their pieces here. Round five underway. 17 minutes and change left on the clock. Plenty of time here. At least two more rounds. Sabine going to barrel roll on one hard. Focus. Sabine just kind of there. And Kai there jumping over Luke. Those foils. I think they're closed now, or did he open them? Uh, they're all open. Kai boosting. Yeah, ooh, we are oh, feeding Bodica. Bodica's not scared. Yeah, we are we are feeding Bodica. Not a good plot spot for Bodica to be. Oh, Ella with a Talon roll here could line up a nasty shot. Oh, 
I guess, yeah, I mean, town roll to the left, obviously. Yeah. Don't town roll to where? Don't, don't town roll to your friends. Yeah. Don't do that. It's not good. Yeah. There, there it go. is. There you Boosting go. Boosting the bullseye. Ooh, you're going to have to go all the way back if you want to get that bullseye, though, I think. Ooh, maybe you'll still get it. I don't know. No, the angle's a little good. awkward. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got that's, it. All day. That's dead on. That is dead on middle set. I thought he was a little bit less of an angle than he is. <laughs> And another good thing about that, because if Elo gets the kill, that's the init snipe, and then that also lets the other T70 shoot without fear of Bodica shooting them back. And you can just shoot at Hera. Ooh, and then you get some free shots. And then you get some shots at Hera, yeah. Absolutely. So Hera goes first at range zero and rolls hit crit. Elo is is in the best of shape, hasn't taken anything, uh, and you take two. All of a sudden, Ew. another ship that's two away from half. Here we go. Oh, it's range one. No. Gonna have Concordia. You need four. Four will guarantee it. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, you have crack shot, so. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that's not great. That's oh. not great at all. Yeah, well, it does it, yeah. Oh, what if, yeah, if there were no evades. Actually, no, they had the focus. Doesn't matter. So you just, yeah, you just, you just Concordia and, uh, you just Concordia? Spends focus. What? I mean, it's still there. All right. Maybe he's, he was just flicking all of his dice to evades anyway. Here we go. Proton Torp. Yeah, that was a good chance to get half here. Really good chance. So no lock. It's the only thing that's going to help Joel here is if Michael rolls some blanks. And rolls one. Hit. Hit crit. Yep. Into Elo. Hello, taking those two. That's half. Oh, man. Julie. And now it's 13 to 10. Oh, did spin the focus. Okay. I mean, you have you have Hera's focus here, so like you're not. Yeah. Okay. Joel trying to get within one again here. You'll kill Bodica. You get two. Oh, only two. Bodica gonna need to roll a couple of blanks here. And dies. That's gonna be enough. That's gonna be enough. However, she will stick around at I four to punish yeah. Kai. Kai's got full health. He probably just go for it. Spend Pretty good. That's three in Hera. Hera is taken one. Gonna have to spend. Yeah, wanted to keep it, but can't. Can't can't give up half. Wow. <laughs> yeah, now Bodica's going to have uh, a double tap here. First shot into Kai. There's three. Oh, man. Kai. No, there's no heroic on any of them. Shields on Kai. Yep. Gets depleted. Attacks again. Two dice. Predator. Reroll. Hit crit. No, it all goes through. Wow. That's two more. That's two more. Joel trying very hard to keep the series alive. If he loses this, the range three obstruct is when their next, their second series of the first two weeks, they'll be two and oh. What was that crit there? Does it matter? Uh, loose stabilizer. Oh, it does. It does matter. Oh. 
15 to 12 right now. And 16, we are 13, after 16, center. 13. Yep, as we head to the end phase and planning in a moment. With 10 minutes and change left, it's under 11 remaining in this game. Hera, one away from half. Sabine, right. one away from half. Luke, fully healthy. Elo, three away. We've got a loose stabilizer on, on Kai with two hole remaining. And Kara at four. Oh. I mean, I think I think the win con here is pretty easy. All Michael needs to do is just kill Kai, sit around. That's it. Um, Basically, don't meantime, lose Luke. Basically, in, what it comes down yeah. to. Uh, you could, so... If you don't kill Kai and Hera dies, then that flips it. Yep. Um, so I think... I mean, I'd expect uh, Kare and Elo to start turning in on Hera and just try to, try to lock her down. Um... You know, Kai's just gonna bunk her down. methodically picking our maneuvers here this is a very very important round it's the the window is closing for the seven suns here the suns are sun they're it's sundown <laughs> for most of these suns All those X-Wings. So many X-Wings. Mm-hmm. One point. In, in this game of X-Wing. Six game six X-Wings in this game of X-Wing that we saw here at one time on the board. Mm -hmm. I've been impressed with the loot, even though Luke has been blocked up a bit. I'm not to say that, you know, it's been like he's done a ton of work, but he I've been impressed. Luke has been right there in the scrub and hasn't taken any damage. It seems a little rare with how yeah. he's focus fired in almost every case. Yeah, generally he's like the first piece to go. You got to Yeah. It, it's pretty easy to know where he's going, so just point your guns there. Yeah. Especially when he doesn't have access to the uh, his, his foils. It's like mm -hmm. he can't arc dodge anybody. Here we go. Hara with the BB-8 trigger. Trying to catch a Hera. Probably. Guy rolling to there. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. It's just willing to take the damage. Loose stabilizer damage. Oh, this is all system phase right now. We'll see where everyone moves. Yeah. I'm liking the background music. Thank you. Yeah, Pretzel Beats. Good streamer subscription service for royalty-free music of all kinds, different stations, themes. This is the epic playlist, Steven. So it's when especially we're doing our team league here, it's always so epic. These matchups, these showdowns. This game definitely proven. Oh, it takes point. the loose damage. Yeah, it takes the loose damage. Interesting. On one. A few more points out there for Michael to get. Sabine could be the one. I don't know. Luke could be the one as well. Luke might just one straight. I think that still gets bumped. 
but range zero, yeah, who cares? You get three dice, you take your odds. Hello, going towards Sabine. Maybe you get maybe you get oh, a point. No kill Sabine. Yeah, with that crack shot out there. Predator crack shot. Let's take that focus, right? Joel is really trying to pin Hera down with that two bank. Get blocked there. Let's focus. There it is. Ooh, got the block. Got the block. So it obviously has that focus still. Okay, the range zero shot. Oh, no, I mean, sorry. This, this gets is... half in the car. There's. Oh my goodness. Oh. No heroic. Oh, that, I don't. I think... think that's it. I think that's the game. That's. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any way. Oh, you got to you got to be kidding rest. me, dude. These range zero shots. These like, range zero certainly a textbook. So po I'll point to this game to be like, why do I not like range zero? The RNG has definitely been in favor of, of Michael here with range zero and attack dice are good. 50% chance of just getting a hit. Or equivalent or better. Mm -hmm. Just keep rolling them. Let's keep rolling them. Now, Luke. Gonna go into Elo range one here try to strip the token era passes the focus for hit hit crit elo does need to roll and evade and is gonna have to spend the focus What's that crit? Fuel leak. Oh, panic pilot. Okay. Oh, Elo just died. Elo takes. Elo just took a. Jeez. Triggered the fuel leak. Yep. So now it's just how many points can Michael get? How many points can Joel get? He needs three paints. Oh, I'm oh. just going to get it. Crack shot. Crack shot. It. Get a point. Get a point. Mercy. Gets Joel to 14. And then just kill Hera, obviously. Easy. Range two into Hera. Yeah, unfortunately, you kill Hera, you get up to 18, then center point would be 21 to 19. So it doesn't, nothing, it doesn't matter. Mathematically, yep. uh, yeah, it's just not. But mission it points matter in this Mission league. points very much matter. That's why, try not to concede if you, unless it's like the last round or whatever. He gets half. There you go. And then Sabine, go kill Kai. So if this kills Kai, that's two more points, and then gets two from the center. Kai's... Ben's focus. Lives. Lives, all right. So the final score is 21-17. What a bloodbath. I mean, chance Ooh. engagement is always like a seesaw affair it's just the way it's like back and forth back and forth half points half points half points get the center point each side gets one plus one plus one and honestly michael was on the razor's edge joel was on the razor razor's edge but michael held on and joel kind of felt slipped off a little bit like i feel like any opportunity where it could seesaw in joel's favor it went the other way this last three rounds just like especially with the spike damage it's like oh i have 
two fully healthy yeah. X-Wings. You blink. Oh, I have two that are halved after one engagement. It's just, yeah, bleeding points there. Way more points to get for Michael than there were for Joel to get there in the end game.